This could change how we live and work, but there's still so much to explore. Could this be the start of robots that are truly versatile, adaptable, able to learn on the fly, just like humans? We'll be exploring those questions and more as we continue our deep dive into physical intelligence and the incredible things Bio can do. It really makes you think about the possibilities with a robot that learns and adapts like this. Not just automating tasks, but robots that can actually collaborate with us, respond to our needs intelligently. Like in healthcare, imagine a robot helping surgeons with delicate procedures or giving personalized care to patients at home. The potential is huge. Or disaster relief. Robots with Duro's abilities could go into dangerous places. Search for survivors, provide aid where it's too risky for humans. That could completely change how we respond to disasters and emergencies. And those are just a couple of examples. The possibilities with a general purpose robot brain like Beale are massive, still largely unexplored. It's like a Swiss army knife for robotics. He can adapt to so many different situations and challenges. But of course, with any powerful technology, we have to think about the ethics. As robots get more capable and become part of our lives, how do we make sure they're used responsibly? How do we deal with concerns about job displacement privacy, the potential for misuse? Those are big questions that researchers, policymakers, everyone needs to think about. Developing these AI-powered robots means we have a responsibility to think carefully about their impact and set guidelines so they're used for good. It's a collective effort to make sure AI benefits all of humanity. And that's what makes this field so interesting. It's not just about the technology itself. It's about using AI to create a better world for everyone. So as we explore the possibilities of AI and robotics, let's keep those human values front and center. It's not just building smarter machines. It's about building a smarter, more compassionate, more equitable future for all of us. But the story of Clun doesn't stop there. The team at Physical Intelligence is already on to the next challenge, pushing the boundaries even further. And that's what we'll be looking at next. One area that's really interesting is long horizon reasoning and planning. Right now, SOAR is a great at tasks that can be broken down into smaller steps, like folding a shirt or picking up a cup. But what about more complex things that take multiple steps? Things that need a deeper understanding of cause and effect like planning laundry for the whole family. It's not just folding. It's about figuring out the best way to wash, dry, fold, and put everything away. That takes a lot of thinking, a kind of planning ahead that robots haven't been good at. It's a big challenge for these robot foundation models, and physical intelligence is working on ways to add that kind of long-term planning to Soros' abilities. Imagine if a robot could not just do single tasks, but plan out whole jobs, adjusting to changes as they happen. Of course, as these robots move from the lab to the real world safety and being able to handle anything becomes even more important. The real world throws you curveballs. A robot needs to be able to deal with those unexpected situations, fix its own mistakes, and above all, be safe around people. 